Oh, you're going to love this one. How many of you out there have a 40-year-old seatbelt retractor that is frozen? We're going to unfreeze this one. Check it out. <laughs> What I have on the bench today is a seat belt retractor out of a 74 Volkswagen. This one's out of a Carmen Ghia convertible. You can tell by the mounting plate. This actually mounts, uh, I guess, underneath the convertible top uh, assembly. This mounts underneath, uh, I guess it'd be where the sides of the rear seat would be, but in 74 there was no rear seat. So anyway, uh, this sucker is frozen. And one thing to remember is these things have a counterweight in them. So uh, you can tell which way they're supposed to be. There's a little VW logo there. It goes up just like you're reading it. So uh, some of the other seat belts have actually a little, uh, their attachment is below. You can swap them out if you have a different make. Uh, you can swap them out. There's a couple bolts on the bottom. You just got to change out the mounting plate. So uh, anyway, this one's completely frozen. Uh, can't tighten it oh holy cow can't tighten it <laughs> oh no we can tighten it hang on does this sucker work no we can't loosen it we can only tighten it so i can tighten it by hand uh, but as you can see it just continues to catch so uh believe it or not i think well maybe it's just going to loosen up on us we won't get to show you our cool trick yeah maybe not Let's see, but you got to hold it right. Hold on, we might be able to get this one. Nope, nope. So our trick, we're going to throw this in a bucket of water with some Dawn. There's apparently a bunch of goop in here that collects over the years. The grease kind of locks up, whatever. You might be tempted to remove these little covers, but there are springs in here. And if you let it go, you got to be very, very careful to capture those springs and then count how many times they wind and which direction they wind because these are mirror images of each other. And to wind the spring, one's got to go one way, one's got to go the other, blah, blah, blah. So uh, anyway, we're going to take the easy route out. We're not going to disassemble this. We're going to throw it in a bucket of soapy water. Here we go. Here's the magic fluid, uh, basically just some Dawn. You know, some grease remover and some water. Going to let that soak for about 10 or 15 minutes and we'll come back and check on it. We've given it about a 10 minute bath. And now I've just got it in my bench vise here. And we're going to, yeah, look at that. Just one shot right there. Now that was pretty sweet. You can see it's kind of twisted around there, kind of dirty in there. So uh, we need to clean it a little bit. We'll straighten her out as it retracts back in. There we have it. Should, uh, should give us plenty of years of valuable service again. While I had her out uh, before all the water dries, just take a little compressed air. Give her the what for. The other thing I did was take a soft brush and that soap and water mix and I brushed both sides, cleaned it and then rinsed it off with some hot water and uh, yeah, you can see I got a little spring clamp on there right now sorry about the earthquake there guys a little spring clamp on there now and uh, we'll just dry it off it'll be ready to install in the old Ghia pretty soon baby there we are four belts unlocked ready for service again that was much easier than I thought it would be that's it for today don't let me know